This is Dave Taylor on May 28, 2016, and I am inside Thomas Jones's home of Huckleberry, which is currently open right now because of the Maryland House and Garden pilgrimage in Charles County. So I've been here all day giving tours, and I thought it would be a good chance to kind of shoot some video just to show people from far away what Huckleberry looks like. Of course, this was what the house looked like in 1895 when a photograph was taken and then a sketch was made. And here we are in the interior of Huckleberry. So this is actually the front door of Huckleberry, which is a red door. And you come in and the front parlor looks like this. And we have decorated it for the garden pilgrimage with floral arrangements and images of Thomas Jones, which normally is not here. Now this home is the property of the Loyola on the Potomac Retreat House. And they use the home as kind of extra um, space for people who come to take retreats and they don't have room at their normal uh, retreat house, which is further down the road. And so not a lot of what you see in here is what it was like when Jones was here. I'm not even quite sure if the room layout was in this way, but just to see what Huckleberry looks like on the inside. So you would come in the main door here and then there was this parlor. And a lot of the rooms here have been designed, uh, has been, have been turned into bedrooms so they could use it for the retreat. And so we have some signage that we've been having. Here's an image, of course, of Huckleberry from the 1940s. So we can get it there. And then a copy of the uh, Oath of Allegiance that Thomas Jones made uh, when he was arrested and then released in 1862 before Booth entered his life. And a little map of the, the route. There's me. And so this room is kind of decorated as, as a bedroom. So we'll go around back to the main parlor. And then from here, we go back into just a small space that is used for a stairwell. Some decorations there. This is a, a bathroom right there. Spinning around. Sorry if you get motion sickness. More of our deck, uh, arrangements are going to go up these stairs, which are pretty narrow. So here we are at the second floor landing. There is a, a modern bathroom right there. Uh, another bedroom, sparsely furnished. As I said, they usually use the space for people who are going on retreats. And if the retreat house itself is not is all filled up, people can come here. And here's a, a large bedroom. Closet right there. And I don't remember, we're going to see, because I don't remember if this is a closet or if it is a staircase. Well, that would be a closet. There you go, closet of Huckleberry. What you've always thought it was. And then we will go back down the stairs without me tripping on my spurs. Alright, this curses the front door again. And here's a little small space. During the tour here, this is where I have been sitting, or actually standing, and talking about Thomas Jones and, and uh, what he did, his life before and after John Wilkes Booth entered it. And then the tour people would then continue out here, which is the kitchen that they kind of have here at Huckleberry. And of course I put out a map of Booth's escape so people could see that. This door here goes right back to the bedroom that we first saw. And then there is actually one more bedroom here that we are not using for the tour, but you can see what they have in here, which connects that door, connects back to the, the, the main entry. So there's this, this room. And then apparently there is one more space that we're going to go up. This is, of course, the side door that exits out. And we're going to go right here. There's a door right here. So this is in the kitchen. That leads to a staircase, currently covered with stuff, almost a secret staircase, up to a secret bedroom, which I'm trying to climb over this stuff. Ugh. There we go. Which leads up here. So another bedroom that can be used, and a bathroom, that can be used um, for retreatants. And I'm thinking that perhaps 
Let me see. Oh, it's just a small closet. Because this space is isolated so much from the rest of the house, it's possible that if they have a visiting priest or someone else to the retreat house and they need a little more privacy in case the house is being used, this would operate in that regard, especially since they have their own, own bathroom and shower up here. So yeah, I mean, Huckleberry today is very much uh, furnished for use by the Catholic retreat. There is not much, oh, I gotta step over this stuff again, not uh, it, It's not, we don't really know how much it retains the same look or even layout of when Thomas Jones lived here. But it's still an interesting place to be able to see firsthand, especially since it is rarely to practically never open to the general public. And I'm gonna make my way back through here. But that is pretty much it. A little tour of Thomas Jones's home of Huckleberry. Hope you enjoyed it. This is Dave Taylor on May 28, 2016, signing off.